rain shots and it's freaking hot. So thankfully it feels better actually now. Um, with this door open and our other door open, there's some airflow. So the air itself feels much better than it normally does. It's not as hot, but inside our place, it's freaking hot. So hopefully our power comes back on soon because we're supposed to pack um, and I can't see a blooming thing. I'm trying to like fold clothes and I wanted to pack and stuff really quickly, but I can't see anything and I'm tired and not about this. So I hope a crowd comes back on very soon. Hey guys, so I just thought that I would pop on here to give a little bit of a voiceover. I'm gonna pop the footage over this, I believe. Um, in one second. Well, I hope they don't start banging again. They like to bang on random ass things for no reason here literally all the time at the worst possible moment. So if that happens, I apologize. I hope the sound is still okay. That's what I'm talking about. So hopefully it's gonna work. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk about something in this vlog that I think is very important and I want to be as open and honest about this and real with you guys that as I can be. But that is working through my own doubts and limiting beliefs about my own fitness journey. Um, yes, I'm a personal trainer. Yes, I am currently out of shape. I'm overweight. I am not where I should be physically. Um, mentally, it's been a whole journey getting myself to where I, I don't want to say should be, but where I want to be um, the healthiest part of me and I'm I'm getting there I'm still not there <laughs> but I'm getting there after everything that has happened in my life the past couple of years really like three or four years <laughs> um, I'm finally starting to get there and that's kind of what I wanted to chat about just a little bit today as I roll this footage from the vaca vacation I just went on uh, I hope you enjoyed the footage by the way I did happen to get in a couple solid workouts in which was so great um, and then we just kind of chilled because obviously COVID, we couldn't do that much anyway and we didn't want to be around that many people. Um, so we just kind of like chilled, but it was so nice just to get away, be able to chill, get in some solid workouts um, in a gym that was honestly pretty good, especially for a hotel. Um, probably better than the one that we get at my condo. So uh, yeah, it worked out pretty well. <sighs> anyway, the topic today, um, I just want to be super real and let you know that <laughs> even though I'm a personal trainer, even though I'm supposed to have it all together, so to speak, um, when it comes to health and fitness and mindset and everything, um, I don't <laughs> and I'm human and um, especially the past couple years, obviously I've been kind of backsliding or just going I don't want to say going in the opposite direction of where I want to go because I believe that everywhere that I have been going and everything I've been working through will eventually lead me to the place where I want to be. And because I've been through all of this pain, all of this healing, all of this mental crap <laughs> and hard seasons, because I've been through all of that and gone through it and been present in it, um, when I am more where I want to be or closer to where I want to be physically, mentally, all of that, I will actually be way beyond where I was before, literally because of all the pain, the healing, the mental stuff, um, just the, the painful seasons that I've been through. Um, and it's just going to lead me to this beautiful place. And uh, it's hard. It's hard to be present in that. It's hard to be okay with that. I heard someone talking in a YouTube video the other day, like yesterday, I think, um, about seeing your obstacles as opportunities. And actually the quickest way to where you want to be is through the obstacles, not trying to go up or down or around um, the obstacles, even just to save yourself a little bit of pain. Um, just because you'll probably either end up circling back to where you started, which usually happens, um, or it'll actually end up taking way longer with more pain in the end, um, or you just don't end up learning what you need to learn. 
Um, so then you literally just end up in the same spot again, trying, even because you were trying so hard to rush through the process and get to the other side. Um, and that really hit me. She also said, you should see your obstacles as opportunities and you need to learn to be okay with where you're at. Um, and that is, has always been so hard for me because <laughs> I always want to be the best version of myself. I'm the kind of person that I'm a really hard worker and I want, if I see something in myself that needs to be improved on, I'm going to do it. And I, I really want to, um, get to the other side, so to speak. And I really want to put in the work just to get there, I guess. Uh, and I really struggle to be present in the journey to be okay with where I'm at. Um, so that I think I feel a little bit ashamed or embarrassed or afraid of where I'm at instead of just being present and accepting what is actually happening right now. Um, and this won't be my forever. It won't be your forever. But if this kind of thing is happening to you as well right now, um, I, I want to encourage you to start thinking in the, just, just be present and to start um, accepting what is actually happening rather than, oh, what you want to happen. Um, let's be real, COVID was hard and is hard. Like it's still not over. Depending on where you live, it's obviously different. Um, and COVID really hit me hard mentally and physically. Um, and I was struggling long before COVID. So COVID kind of just didn't help situations <laughs> at all for me. And I know a lot of people were in that boat or just like they were doing fine and then COVID hit and completely ruined everything, um, which makes sense as well. And it's okay to struggle and it's okay to be not where you want to be. Um, so I just, I wanted to say, I guess, I don't, I didn't script any of this. I didn't really think about it too much because I wanted it to be as authentic as possible. Um, but I do have limiting beliefs about myself. I do have doubts about my fitness journey, um, like every day. <laughs> and um, I am trying my hardest to work through those. I am trying my hardest to um, be okay with where I'm at in the journey. And I think that's the first part, just accepting what has happened in your life, whether that's weight gain, whether it's mental health issues, such as depression or anxiety, or something that maybe you don't think is a health, mental health issue, but it actually is, such as low self-esteem or no self-confidence or um, just terrible body image all the time. Trust me, I deal with all of those pretty much every day <laughs> um, to some extent or the other. So you're not alone in that at all, especially, probably especially in the fitness industry because it means a lot. Um, but that's kind of another topic for another day. What's up guys? So I just thought I would come in here really quickly. This is the next day after my workout and just give some quick little thoughts about yesterday, about, um, how I'm feeling, some changes I saw, that kind of thing. So, um, I'm on vacation right now for Songkran in Thailand. So, um, I feel really good though. Yesterday we got in a workout, pretty much as soon as we got here, we just changed, literally went to go work out and it felt really good, um, which was fun. <laughs> and the gym was actually surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. Um, the last time we were here, we got, we both got sick, so we literally did not do anything. Um, it might've been closed anyway, I don't remember. Actually, I don't think it was closed, but I think like we just, we literally died and we both got sick and it was horrible. Uh, we didn't do anything when we were here. <laughs> so anyway, the gym was surprisingly much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, one like major success I would say that I see is when I was filming a few of my clips and stuff, I was really noticing that I have lines, like more lines than I thought, aka muscle, in my quads in particular, which is really fun because obviously I'm still like overweight and I'm still not happy with where I'm at physically. I don't feel great yet. Um, my clothing hasn't like changed yet as far as like I don't fit in my clothing like I would like to yet. Um, but that was really exciting because I've never really seen that to that extent until yesterday, which was fun. Um, another thought that I had I think last night was before, especially when I was on vacation, I would feel 
um, kind of stressed out, not really stressed out, but like pressure, I guess, to work out as soon as you wake up because I was like, we're not gonna get it in if we wait until later in the day. Um, and I, I, would, I don't know, I just like feel that pressure and I didn't really enjoy going to work out super early in the morning, like before breakfast because I had no energy, obviously, because I didn't eat anything, didn't have coffee. I don't like working out in the morning. It's just a thing like some people do, some people don't. And I truly believe that I do not, <laughs> um, which is fine. But I just always felt that pressure. But yesterday I realized that I had a freaking blast in the gym, like it was fun. I had a lot of fun just doing our workout and getting it in and it felt great and I'm so happy that we did it. Um, and I'm actually looking forward to doing it today as well and I didn't get up super early. I, I didn't, <laughs> I, I woke up early but um, lately I just can't sleep in anymore. It's fine. Um, but. Uh, I didn't feel that pressure of like, oh my gosh, I have to wake up super early and go to the gym for breakfast, um, otherwise I'm never going to get in all day. I don't feel that pressure anymore, and it feels really good, um, because I, I just want, I want to enjoy it again, and I feel like I'm finally at the place where I'm able to enjoy it again, which feels amazing, so enjoy the rest of the workout footage, <laughs> um, and I will get some more shots for you hopefully today. So I just want you to know that I deal with limiting beliefs all the time. And <laughs> there have been so many days recently even where um, I don't really believe that I can get fit again, even though I've done it once. Um, there, There's so many days, like even today and now, nowadays, like every day, <laughs> I find it really hard to remember what I felt like in clothes before. Um, because for so long, for me, it's been two years. Um, I just have not been comfortable in the clothes that I wear. I feel like nothing fits. Um, it's uncomfortable for me to walk because my um, thighs are bigger than they were and uh, my shorts don't fit that well. And it's always hot here, obviously, in Thailand. So um, I have to wear shorts a lot and my legs are very sweaty and uncomfortable because of that and because of how big they've gotten compared to what they were before. Um, and I just, <laughs> I have so many days like, and I'm not even talking about the past, I'm talking about right now, where I don't believe in myself and I'm like, but can I really get fit? Can I really lose the weight? Uh, can I really feel good again? Is that actually a possibility? Um, <laughs> I don't like throwing this out there just because it's very vulnerable. It's very real. Um, and I know that not that many people watch me at the moment and that's okay. Um, but I hope that if you are one of the people watching this, that you're able to find some value in this and some encouragement. Um, and I hope this is something that you need to hear. Just, just know that you're not the only one, even people like myself, who is a personal trainer who wants to help other people after I've helped myself, of course, um, through all of this struggle, because this matters like this. It's not just about fitness and like looking a certain way. All of the issues that I've just mentioned, 1000% goes into the rest, translates into the rest of your life. Like every single day, how you interact with other, other people, um, all the things. <laughs> so it definitely, it matters. It's not just what you see in the mirror. It's not what other people see or how other people see you. Um, and I just want you to know that that is why fitness means so much to me and why I think this is so important, um, to think about and to work on and why you shouldn't just do fitness just for some aesthetic reason or, with a coach or trainer who just only works on that part and never talks about the mental part because the mental part for me is is literally what matters the most so um yeah <laughs> i hope this wasn't too rambly i hope you found value in it please let me know in the comments what you think about what i had to say if you have any things that you would like to add as well i'd love to hear them so please do that in the comments below i would love to chat with you that would be super fun um I think that is all that I can think of at the moment. 
but I just want to leave you with an encouraging message of you are enough right now today with all of your flaws even if you feel a little too broken you're not you're not too broken to be loved you're not too broken or unworthy to feel good to look good to work on your mental health so that you're able to do your job better so that you're able to live the life that you actually freaking love so that you can interact with those you love better and treat them as you should as well as treat yourself as you should you are worthy limiting beliefs and doubts while it's okay to have them it's not your identity so those beliefs are going to lie to you. Those thoughts are going to tell you you're not good enough. You can never do this. It's too hard. That is not true. I'll see you guys next time. So I was just not feeling it, did not feel like forcing myself, um, and especially with where I'm at mentally right now, that's a really good thing to just like be chill about right now, um, in a good way, like all of that is a really good thing I think, uh, based off of what I said the other day about working out, vacation, feeling it, all that kind of stuff, so um, I'm just going to chill and happy to celebrate. <laughs>